woman to woman. Something. That's about better right. But I'm coming to you. Mother to mother. Candy, what are you doing? Why are you pimping Riley out for her birthday? Candy. Candy, girl. What are you doing, girl? Where Mama Joyce? Where Block? Where is everybody? Where Aunt, Mer Aunt Bertha? Where Aunt Nora? Okay, this is a travesty. Candy, why are you pimping Riley out for her birthday? Now, these birthday solicitations Riley is doing online with her cash app, are they going to charity? I just want to know, Candy. I just want to know. Since it was posted out there, and like I tell y'all, if a story come across my media feed and I feel like I, I feel some kind of way, I'm going to post my response. Oh, yes, I am. So I'm going to tell y'all, the ones that going to come from me, if they don't like what I'm saying, please go to my video that says I'm a commentator. Okay? I comment. I post my opinions. That's all. Okay? That's how I feel about it. That's how I see it. It ain't nothing going to change. But anyway, I ask y'all to comment as well so y'all can comment as as y'all see fit okay but i'm just coming and pleading with candy what the hell are you doing what are you doing riley just was 16 you bought her a porsche and i have nothing wrong with that you could have bought her a rolls royce and i would have been fine with that too but riley's 17 years old that means somehow you treat her like a child and somehow you treat her like she's 25 27 30 like she is a part of your age group. You can't be friends with your children. You need to be their mother, their confidant, if they have to deem you that. All right. Me and my daughter, I don't consider her my friend. She consider me her friend all day long, okay? Her bestie, all that. That's good. But she knows I'm coming for the royalty, the honor. I am mother, okay? Certain things you're just not going to do. All right. While living under my roof, you're not going to do it, okay? Now, if well, yeah, my daughter did come up in the age of cell phones. She got a cell phone when I think she was 12 years old. But I still monitor it, and I still monitor it today. Well, not really. I take that back. Let me retract that one. I don't want I might peep on it because she got this um little thing where she has to, it's password protected. But, you know, she ain't doing it for me because sometimes I ask her and I want to look at something that I know she has on her phone, like an app. She give me the password, so we cool like that. But I'm not one of those people that go snooping through her phone. Now, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was when she was like, when I got that cell phone, till she turned 18 and she started paying for us. Well, now she didn't start paying really nothing until she got out of college. Okay, so 24. All right. But just to say that, to say this, Candy, what the hell are you doing? Brand, Riley ain't got no business posting, show me birthday love, unless she got it attached to a charity that she gonna give it to. Okay? Because we know. She did make a comment on there saying, uh, what'd she say? Oh, I just whipped through my uh, thought train of thought because I'm so upset about this post. Um, maybe it'll come back to me. But anyway, uh, she was on there saying, show her some love. Okay, now I remember. She said, you got money, but she don't. Don't Riley know. Did you not tell her as long as you got money? She got money. Okay. Well, she had to ask for it. Maybe you have to do an itemization of her comings and goings on her uh, credit card you may give her or whatever. And she just wants some side money. Now, Riley don't need to par be participating in no side hustles, no method. She need to do her education. Evidently, she's well advanced because if she's 16 doing a law, uh, uh, an internship with a, lord, a lawyer's office, and it's sponsored by Howard University or somehow. The girl is smart. She's very intelligent. Now, she's going into some type of litigation type law where she's going to have to be representing corporations and stuff of that nature. Riley don't need to be doing nothing that can trace back to questionable behavior because every job out there or whatever that has some substance with it, and I, I really believe, uh, Riley's going to do some dynamic, wonderful things. She don't need stuff like this. She don't need to be participating in Instagram, any type of social media where it's going to come up with her giving negative feedback from people, whether they're her friends, foes, or whatever. 
the social media platform is not for Riley Burris to be debating, to be putting stuff out here. Not if she plans for her future to be in corporate America. They go way back in Canada. You should know this, okay? You should know this. But I'm going to remind you of this because I'm coming to you mother to mother. Okay, now she's going into um, the field of entertainment, uh, attorneyship, or just attorney field, and she's going to represent entertainers, celebrities. Then I guess she could, but then they don't want no blemish spots uh, trying to come to an entertainment lawyer who's connected in the industry either. They want somebody very plush, only well known for winning cases and all of that kind of thing because they coming out some real door rate me money that I'm sure Riley's going to want to charge them for the firm she's working for until she can probably establish her own firm. You know what I'm saying? Hint, hint, hint. Entrepreneurship, I can see her doing that. But all the thing I'm saying, don't have this girl out here. Talking about get you know donate for her party fund because you got money. She will, well, Riley, get a job, honey. You you ain't no stranger to work. I'm sure you go work at Tags, or you can go work at Press. That's uh, Rashida Candace's friend. I'm sure. Okay, but I ain't gonna talk about Riley. I'm talking to the mama. Okay, because Riley don't know no better. Riley is trying to find herself in this mixed up world that she's in, as far as entertainment and the real world, and then trying to figure out where she fit in between. I ain't got no problem with that. I understand that. But I'm asking where Block at now? Where Block? Where Mama Joyce? Where's Aunt Nora? Where's Bertha? They can definitely. Uh, put her feet back on the ground because I know she be floating in the air with Todd, her stepdad, and uh, Candy, and all this entertainment, fanfare, and all that. But you know, hey, we see how Riley entertainment career started when she called herself one of the rap and then rap about her daddy, okay, her biological dad. Poor taste, you know, because you know, father, dad, they're gonna do what they want to do, it's no reflection. If they brought Lot don't want to have a relationship with her the way she feels. Then, hey, dust your feet off, go on about your business because we know your mama got you and the Lord got you, girl. If you're religious, if you believe in Christ Jesus, you know, hey, that's another whole thing. But I ain't talking to Riley, I'm talking to Candy Burris. Okay, her firstborn running amok out in these streets. Now, can you all be ashamed of yourself? Not her and Red and Media Takeout and Celebrity Insider, you had to re-alter her first post, but you still gave permission for her to print it. Come on, girl. Now, she pr she printed it out for her celebrity uh, friends, your celebrity friends and their children. Is that how it's going? Did I understand it? Money between money, that don't make no, no, no never mind. But when you're asking Riley to act, uh, what do you call it? Ask for donations or birthday celebrations, making it rain on her from normal, everyday people, <laughs> that's just a, a, a bit much. And somebody did make a very eloquent statement saying that's the government trying to come for the poor people. And I, I have to agree with it. That synopsis, that analogy was pretty on point, on spot. So whoever wrote that in the comment section, uh, I think on Riley Burris', Riley Burris uh, post, they, you did an excellent job on that because I definitely saw right through what you were trying to say and it was very transparent for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear okay i understand fully what you were trying to say um but candy can candy girl okay i understand because my perception is if riley get all this money from people that just like her you know just genuinely like her followers of her uh, social media accounts and stuff don't you think these same people going to probably be pimping Riley out when it's time for their birthday saying, you know, I gave you birthday love, show me birthday love. Is Riley going to have the funds to come out her account that you give her to repay all these people back? Or are you going to have a birthday bash where everybody that uh, voted, uh, not voted, but sent Riley in birthday blessings and stuff, are you going to invite them to the birthday bash so they could feel like they are part in a sense or Riley's uh, team or whatnot. If those things are not going to happen, Candy, I think you Riley need to give a refund back to them people because I ain't saying all people are like that. Some people are just wonderful. They bless people with financial uh, mon monetizations and stuff and they don't look back at it. Okay, that's their money. They do what they feel they want to do. But some are out there that be like, okay, I bless you. Are you going to bless me? Okay, tit for tat, whatever. That's how people, I'm looking at it from every perspective. But are you looking at at that way, Ken. Are you looking at it that way? Okay, so I'm just saying, Ken, 
I don't know what's going on, but that was my pun intended. That was my opinion. That was me to another mother saying, get your daughter straight, okay? That's not what we want her to be a part of. I don't think she's ready for social media and the backlash that comes with it. People are very vicious. They take what you say, put their spin on it, but fail to realize they are opinionated on something that you post. You know what I'm saying? You could talk about everybody else out here, you know, under the sun or whatever because of something they post. But once you post on somebody they like and they don't feel you did them a disservice, they're going to come for you. You see what I'm saying? You see how that wraps around karma? So my thing is like this. If Riley can handle social media, the backlashes, and, and, and the people being unkind to her, even though she probably was joking, or maybe she wasn't joking. Maybe she did want the money, honey. Maybe she did want the money. Uh, is she going to be able to handle the backlash? Because with putting yourself out there, whether you have a platform such as myself, whether you're a celebrity, you become attachable. You become attached where you can receive good uh, favor reviews and you can get something that tear you down, honey. Tear you up from the flow up, tear you down to the flow. Well, y'all know what I'm going with. It kind of a little confused this morning with all my adages I'm trying to say. Yeah, tow up from the flow up. That's how they do it. Tow up from the flow up. They will drag you from how you look to what you weigh to how you dress. And the list can go on and on and on. But thank the Lord I got good skin. And I know when I do my reviews, I do it for my opinion. I try to uh, give it the best fair shot. Now, if you're a spade. I'm going to call out a spade. Now, if you're good at what you did, what you posted, I'm going to give you a shout out. You know what I'm saying? This is how I do. But the only thing I'm saying, Ken, it ain't a good look for Riley to be on him doing that type of sort of behavior. Now, the weight loss she was doing, wonderful, because I'm sure grownups can benefit from that as well as people her age can benefit you know, with learning how she did it to keep her, get out, but well, get down from her uh Plateau, well, no, to, to definitely let us see the beginning to the middle to the end of her weight loss journey. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. But I was like, uh-uh. Do Brock know about his daughter going on him doing this type of behavior? See, that's why I appreciate some entertainers that don't put their children on social media because they already have to fight. If that's the arena that they're employed by or they choose to be entrepreneurs in, they already get enough flat. They ain't got time to be trying to represent and, and protect and serve their family from people on the Internet, especially when their child initiated the contact. You see what I'm saying? We, we don't have time for all that. So if Riley ain't got thick skin, take her off of some social media. Tell her, do not post stuff like that. It's for her best benefit. And that's just for me coming from a, a mother mother loving on their child to another mother, which I know you love Riley. Because she ain't ready. She ain't ready for it. She ain't ready for it. She might be ready after she don't had many, many more experiences without you helping her out. Other situations. Because she still got to grow in her own self. She can't be under your shadow. Uh, she can't look to you to bail her out on every little thing she get herself into. Which I know you're going to do because you're the mother. That's what you should do. But she got to learn to stand on her own. She got to learn that if she put some shit out there that ain't worth putting out there, she got to stand on her own shit. And like I said, she's too formative. She's still learning. She's still evolving, which we all are. But she's still at a very impressionable age where this can make her or break her. And the only thing Riley need to be doing is just getting into her schoolwork, uh, finishing college, and then deciding on these other things that really are not that important, but we deem important at times. Okay. So that's all I had to say. That's my opinion. Let me get on to what media take takeout said. All right. Their headline article reads atl housewives candace daughter begs for money on instagram now you see how that goes one thing i saw was just riley had posted something uh, as an article title to her social media account asking people to uh donate to her uh birthday celebration but see you see how the articles and the titles are changing and they're more so attacking you candy not riley bird so i know you got tough skin but you know you get on that that dawn uh instagram or you doing you know your live speak on it or whatever and you get vicious too honey because they're coming for your your child not understand it, but we got to also cap our children on their hands on their foreheads on their butts when they do stuff like that because they don't know the rep replications uh that will come from it that are very negative that you have to do pr control on okay 
And like I said, your name going up in lights with Riley as the headliner, but your name are going up in lights and it's featuring you on your parenting skills, okay? And how it seems to be dimming when it comes to uh, your parental interactions on what you're monitoring on what your child, because Riley's still under 18, is doing, okay? So we don't need all that. We don't need bad press on Riley. I like Riley, okay? I like it. I love her. I know she's going to do wonderful things, but we don't need her be out here in these streets, these social media streets cutting up like Kim Zoziak children be doing. Well, I ain't, I'm going to say Brielle because that Ariana, she's staying out of social media as much as possible. And she's, to me, the most beautiful child that she has right now. I see her other little ones are forming, but uh-uh. She got one. Brielle's all Kim's. Every day, all day, she is the lookalike, the uh, clone of her mother, okay? But Ariel, she has a more softer side, and she has a more private side, and I can appreciate that. So, I don't know. Maybe Ariel and, and K or Riley need to hook up together. Who knows? Maybe they'll form a relationship later on. I don't know. But Ariel and I ain't trying to be seen in social media unless her mother is putting her in the spotlight, and she has to. They're so they're so be there okay but let's get on to what media takeout said honey they little headliner article reads candy bird's daughter riley turned 17 years old this weekend and the reality star decided to celebrate her birthday by begging and they used the word begging i said donation but you see how the tides are turning okay begging is what they use in candy her fans for money riley who is the daughter of the multi-millionaire Real Housewives of Atlanta reality star asked her fans on Instagram to send her some money via cash app as support. Okay, Riley wrote, show me some love. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the right. That's what Riley's saying, okay? And by love, she meant money. <laughs> See how they did that candy? They got very explicit of what she was saying, your daughter was saying, okay? The 17-year-old added, my mom has money, but I don't. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about, Candy. That's an ass whooping for Miss Riley Burles, if she was my child, okay? I would have said, retract that, take it down. And I have told my daughter on something she has done on social media that I peep game, because my family follow her, too, and stuff that I don't uh, know about. They, they chime in with me. They be on the telly, phone, calling me, okay, texting me. What the hell is Chauncey doing? Check her Instagram. I check it now. Then I'm going up here. I'm trying to figure out what her, you know, what Instagram or Facebook, what was she, what what's going on? And then when I see, I'm like, what the heck? No, she, they, uh, okay. And then me and her go have a private conversation and short, quick, fast in a hurry. That shit is taken down. Even though it's out there, it's off of her social media feed, but I'm sure somebody got it stored up. So when she does something out of pocket, somebody may come and say, boom, you remember this? Do you remember this? Okay. And it's going to come out. It's going to be egg on her face and she's going to have to stand in her own shit and ride with it or just let it fly. You know, because I, I told her, I don't, have to, I don't have time to keep going, you know, saying this, that, and the third. When I say something, it's golden. I done been through it, I done experienced it, or I know people who have went through it. So I'm not telling you no lie. But sometimes hard heads make soft behinds, okay? Okay? So they do have to learn, but we have to do that to police them, even in their adult life, okay? We can't do too much when they're on their own roof, they're doing their thing, but all thing we can do is say, hey, I heard about this, is this true? Let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to give you my two cents about it, and I want you to really think about it, and you, it's your choice on what you do about it after this point, okay? And that's how I deal with my door, okay? But getting back to this article... You know, it goes on to show pictures of Riley Burris and her cash app, you know, thing. And she has other things titled. And we thought Candy didn't know about it. But now come to find out Candy knew about it. Uh, and maybe she altered it a little bit. But it still gave the same appreciation and acceptance that Candy knew about. She was asking for money. Okay. So, and it goes on to say, almost immediately fans of Riley went into her comments and blasted her for the request. The fans also inquired whether her mother, Candy, knew of Riley's unorthodox request. Okay, it says, well, it turns out that Candy not only knew about Riley's request, she encouraged and promoted it. Now, Candy, ah, you promoting mess. Okay, all right. So, when people come for you, Candy, and they're and they, they giving their own opinions, don't get mad, don't get salty, don't start crying because you want to tell somebody head off because they unfairly judging you and your daughter. Yeah, okay. 
they have opinions. When you post stuff on social media, you're going to get backlash. And unfortunately, it's going to come to you, Candy. Okay, because you witnessed it, you were aware of it, and you still put your stamp of approval on it. Now, that's just crazy. All right, but moving on, it says, Minister Alvarado posted her begging message. Candy reposted it on her page. Okay, Ooh, okay, all righty then. Well, I, I, that's the cock calling the pot of black. It is what it is. Uh... It's just a hot mess. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to say it's just a hot mess. Candy, you're going around him uh, uh, approving of, I tell you, it's almost like fraudulent activity because I don't see how Riley can truly request something that she already has but bucket loads full of. Okay, but hey, it's just me. You know, what can I say? I'm just giving y'all my opinion. It's all good. You know, and I'm trying to see who else had this besides media takeout. Uh, I want to say Celebrity Insider had it. And I'm trying to see if they had a different spin on it regarding uh, their take on it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they do have it. Their title of the shenanigans going on is Candy Burr's daughter, Riley Burr's lands in hot water for sharing this post on her birthday. Some Real Housewives of Atlanta fans asked her to stop while others defended her. And it came from a journalist by the name of Dylan Fisher, who works for the Celebrity Insider. Okay, we're going to go in and see what he wrote. He said, Candy Burr's daughter, Riley, is celebrating her 17th birthday, and like many teenagers, she decided to share her cash out and ask her followers for some money. Todd Tucker's stepdaughter penned a little note asking for the birthday donations and told her fans that while her mom is a multimillionaire, she is not wealthy. Okay? Candy, that's a slap in your face. Uh, however you want to look at it, don't Riley know. Your money is her money, in a sense, because you're her guardian, you're her protector, and you're her provider, pretty much. Hey, I'm, you pretty much provide for everybody in the house, including your husband, Todd Tucker. But that's neither here nor there. We're not going to get into it. But you see how they brought Todd Tucker in the equation, trying to put him, stir him in the pot as well. And we already know he's good at ace. We loving it. We ain't got nothing to say. But when he got his, uh, well, I think she's 18 now. 18 and 19. Hell, she might be 21. Who knows? But, you know, she's a little older than Riley. And you see what he did in London with his daughter. He took her to a script club. And everybody was on his behind and then some. We still ain't forgot about it. We just don't want to talk about it no more. It's like out of sight, out of mind. That's pretty much how we put in that whole situation, at least on my platform. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the lawyer... The future lawyer wrote, it's my birthday, everyone. Show me some love. Then it was edited. It's my birthday, all of you. My mom has money. I don't. Okay, I think they meant to say I don't, but they said my money has money. Don't. And it has emojis laughing. Okay, many of her supporters took it as a joke. A few gave some money for her birthday, while others reminded her that she comes from a wealthy family and should not be asking people who are living paycheck to paycheck for cash. Okay, I'm in agreement with that, but hey, if you like Riley, you got the money, do what you want to do. Uh, going back to the article, a follower jokingly said, Happy birthday, sis. I got you soon as that direct deposit hits. Meaning they got to wait for the direct deposit to hit to bless your daughter, Riley, Candy, with, uh, with some money. Okay. You see what I'm saying, Candy? You see what I'm saying? You got people out here really love Riley, but they ain't got the money, but they still want to support her. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Candy Burst, and you should have made her take that shit down unless you're going to have a block party for all these people and they can come and relish in everything they try to support Riley in and y'all just have a big old uh, hold down in, in y'all parking lot. Or, or not parking lot, but y'all subdivision, that's the gated community, or you rent out an uh, event hall for Riley to come and, and be around her followers of her Instagram account, okay? They should get something out the deal, okay? Rub heads, rub elbows, swap hugs, something. She donating to them. All right, but that's just my pun intended. Going back 
to the article. Another commenter to say, wealth, uh, another commenter, wealth shame rider from the millionaire's daughter. Girl, you drive a Porsche. Leave me alone. LOL, happy birthday though. Okay. This person said, Candace should put a stop to this. Do your mother know you are here asking us paycheck to paycheck folks for money? Uh, a frown emoji. Happy birthday. That's all I got for you, love. Okay. Then it gives a picture of Miss Riley when she was probably in kindergarten. All right. And because it's on Candy's page, and you know, I don't know why Candy keep putting baby pictures. Just put Riley as she is now and wish her good luck. I know we as mothers gonna always see our children in those little formative years when they're just walking, when they're just starting pre-K and all like that. But it ain't cute to them when they get older. So let's keep up with the age. And, and not embarrass them on that point, but just put them in profiles that they are now and celebrate their love. Okay. Then enough, another, my pun intended, not in this article, going back to the article, it says a fourth individual added rich people asking for money from poor people. Sounds like the government. There we go. That's the one I was talking about. I had read that somewhere. Uh, asking poor people, the government asking poor people to pay more taxes. That's how I got it. I'm like that. That's the pot calling the kettle black. Okay. Uh, but let's read that again for edification for people that, you know, didn't catch it because they were listening to my pun intended. It said a fourth in individual added rich people asking for money from poor people. Sounds like the government. I have to think no. Right. Ken is very involved in charity. This is embarrassing. And that's what I felt about it, too. And I gave you all my uh, opinionated opinion. Before I start reading the articles, going back, uh, we have a defender of Riley's. They said, girl, your mother richer than all of us put together. Stop. Ha ha. Laughing emoji. So funny. And happy to know you. You and happy to know you. I, I am always talking about you with Charles. I don't really understand why grown people are always jumping on these baby stats being negative. Have y'all ever stopped to think that she is just trying to be a normal teenager Doing what they do, this baby will probably be happy if all y'all gave her a dollar. Just want to show y'all some love. Okay, instead, y'all on here tearing a baby girl down just like we do each other. And that's why our race can never get ahead. Happy birthday, baby girl. And I say to that defender, she need to hush. But she wanted to express her opinion, she go ahead. But it ain't logical what she just said. Okay, but moving on, they give a pretty picture of Riley out in the park somewhere. Flossing with her designer bag. <laughs> okay. And another one, another backer rider says, right. Everyone posts their cash outs on their birthday. I don't understand why they follow her to be negative. Let her be a normal young woman. I'm sure she's playing anyway. Nah, Riley, serious. You give her that money, she's going to put it in the gas tank, or she's going to go buy her some food, or, or, or it depends on how much she gets. She going to the real shopping mall and getting and then it goes on to say, is Riley right or wrong for asking for money? Now, if Riley had a charitable organization she was giving her money to that she got from people, that's a whole nother different ball game. And I'm sure she would get a lot of people donating for that in honor of her name to, you know, give it to a worthy charitable organization. Now, she doing it just because she can do it. Like most teenagers go on here asking and begging for their friends to help them celebrate. And yes, yeah, she dead ass wrong. Okay. She don't help poor people problems. And I'm glad she don't. I'm glad her mother worked her ass off to provide for her family to have a better life. But Candy, you also should be instilling in your family that you're supporting and, and providing for. You don't go asking people for something you already got. You know what I'm saying? Tenfold down. Um, and, and that's talking truth right there. You need to be in a more uh, habit of giving back. I don't care if it breaks your back. <laughs> Give back. Okay. All who have a lot is respected and uh, expected to do a lot. Okay. That's the whole strategy of the world. And it, it, it gives a good feeling when you do give back. Uh, however you do it in private or you do it in public. Uh, so we need to uh, be monitoring Miss Riley Burris a little more. Where's Mama Joyce? Where's Aunt Bertha? Where's Aunt Nora? Because if all this went south for Candy, she'll be back doing a nine to five job and, and, and it'll be more on a learning basis. OK, because you can always be up one day and then how the times turn, you can be down. on and from out, What I understand, she's a very strict business. She only spend money when she feels she has to. And I don't think she's neglecting Riley's um, 
uh, wants and desires. You know what I'm saying? Because God knows. Look, a porch, a porch, please. Probably you need to sit down somewhere, get into your studies, and live life accordingly in the realm that you live in, unless you're giving back to the community and you all about that nonprofit uh, type of work. Okay? But other than that, peace and blessings. Uh, always monitor your kids. I don't care how old they get. Always be in their lives, talking with them, uh, encouraging them, and making them aware of things. Okay? But y'all be good. I'll come back probably more than likely with another video. And y'all be blessed. And y'all keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing to my channel. Liking my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate you. From one paycheck living person to the next paycheck living person. Y'all feel me. I feel y'all. Let's do this. Bye.